Hi everyone. We've reached Holy Thursday. And on Holy Thursday, there are two services, one in the morning and one in the evening. This video is going to be about the Holy Thursday morning services. It's a Vesperal Divine Liturgy, combining Vespers and the Divine Liturgy. And on this morning, our priest serves the Divine Liturgy very early, early in the morning. And we can even go, children, before school to receive Holy Communion in regular time. But at this time, we remember Christ's Last Supper, the last time he had a meal with his disciples before he was crucified. But this dinner was different than any other dinner, any other time that they ate together. Because at this meal, Jesus said some very special words. I'm going to hold up an icon so that... You can see it a little better. You see Jesus in the center and his disciples on either side of him. And he says, take, eat. This is my body of the new covenant, which is shed for, which is for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. And then he says, drink from it, all of you. This is my blood, which is shed for many for the forgiveness of sins. I know you've heard these words before. We hear them said by our priests at every divine liturgy. This was the first Holy Communion. Jesus Christ established the sacrament of Holy Communion at the Last Supper. And our priests and our bishops repeat these words, have repeated them ever since then. But what do those words mean? They really mean life. You've heard food is life, right? If we want to live, we have to eat food. Well, if we want to have eternal life in the kingdom of heaven and be with Jesus forever, we must receive Holy Communion. We must prepare ourselves. Remember we talked about be ready, get ready, be watchful. We have to be doing those things at all times so that we're ready. Part of getting ready is going to church and receiving Jesus in us. It's called Holy Communion because the word communion means together. Holy togetherness. We allow Jesus to come inside of us and be with us. He's blessing us, but we are the ones that have to make it possible. We have to come to him to receive his Holy Communion. Jesus did something else at this time too. He, in the upper room, that's where they had their dinner, that's where they had their supper, the upper room, he did something that shocked his disciples. He told them that he wanted to wash their feet. Now, back then, we didn't have paved roads. The roads were made of dirt. You can just imagine how dusty and dirty the disciples' feet were. They were filthy. And to think that Jesus, their Lord, said, I'm going to wash your feet? How do you think they felt? Share with someone. Well, friends, do you remember we talked about how Christ is the bridegroom and the church or the people are the bride? And that when you love someone, you will sacrifice and do anything for them. You'll serve them, be kind to them. You'll help them with their problems. Well, the disciples had stinky feet and they needed to have clean feet. It was a wonderful thing when people back then had clean feet. So when Jesus offered to wash their feet, that was an act of love and an act of humility. That means he was willing to get dirty in his hands to wash his friends, his disciples' feet. He did this to kind of show them that he would be willing to do anything for his disciples who loved him and whom he loved, just like he was willing to cr be crucified as an act of sacrifice and love. Serving others, acting and caring about others. I want you to think about that today on Holy Thursday. What are you going to do to show your love for those around you? Are you going to do an act of kindness or an act of sacrifice? Think about that. Maybe you can make a choice today with your family, something that you can show love, like Jesus showed love to his disciples. I'll be back again with this evening's service, Holy Thursday, which is the Passion of Jesus.
Thank you.